statements are so good. Chanel Ayan has slammed Melissa Gorga. This happened a few days ago, but fell to the bottom of my list of things. Like, do I care about this? Slammed Melissa Gorga says, there is no way that you have more followers than Teresia Giudice or Kenya Moore. So Chanel Ayan from Dubai has slammed Messi G saying, Teresia is the queen of Jersey. She must have more followers than you, as must Kenya. I mean, we all thought Messi G bought followers, but I think Teresa does too. You know, I talked about this on the show once before. At one point, whatever Teresa had, if Teresa had a million, Melissa had 1.1. If Teresa miraculously moved up to 1.6, Melissa had 1.7. If Teresa had 1.9, Melissa had 2 million. She always had just a little more than Teresa. So I think Chanel Ayan is up to something here. She, she, she's on to something, I mean. Um, slamming Messi G and says she don't care. She don't care about uh, if Messi G gets mad at her. By the well, Chanel Ion. By, by the way, God, I can't fucking speak today. By the way, by the way, Chanel Ion. Here, comma. God, what is wrong with me? By the way, um, you have bigger things to worry about than Melissa Gorga's fake Instagram followers because two hundred and thirty-five people have watched The Real Housewives of Dubai. More people listen to an episode of the Behind the Velvet Rope than are watching The Real Housewives of Dubai. We have a problem, people. We actually have a problem. I know what you're all going to say. I get it. Everybody who watches Miami loves Miami. Everybody who's watching Real Housewives of Dubai is loving The Real Housewives of Dubai. That I don't know what you want me to do with that. I can wipe my ass with that. Not much more. Because the bottom line is, um, there was three hundred and like thirty thousand watching the Real Housewives of Dubai. Now it is two hundred and thirty-five thousand. I would like to drop a footnote. Can we really use the week of the Fourth of July, where Fourth of July is that Friday? Can we really use that week or the week before as like the benchmarks? Um, for the show. I mean, look, it wasn't great news, but if it stays at 235, which is a new season low, series low, I mean, guys, why start watching? People ask me what 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 they should watch. Don't my advice, don't start watching the Real Housewives of Dubai. There is absolutely no point in you watching it. It will be canceled. It's going to be canceled at 235,000 viewers. It is over. Say goodbye to the Real Housewives of Dubai if it continues to have 235,000 viewers. It is the season of Stanberry when Stan Barry was on my podcast, I'm going to reissue this episode. Do not have to go look for it. I'll reissue it. She talked about her timeline, ladies. Alon did, and she said, look, it doesn't have to all be about me. I'm not making it all about me. So she says, she's like, the ladies, my castmates have deemed me the bitch. It's everything's about me. This just is how, what they, well, now it seems like from this season, from what I've been watching on The Real Housewives of Dubai, this whole, did anyone else notice this whole season is about Caroline Stanberry? Does anyone notice this? I feel the whole show is about her and Ion making up and Lisa Lon is so jealous of her, Stanberry and Ion making up that she's angry. Everything is about Stanberry. So we have like, this is like Ladies of London part two, as far as I'm concerned, but she actually acknowledges and talks about my podcast. I will reissue that so you don't have to go find it, everyone. Gina Keo, we all know a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, whatever, did that Photoshop. I mean, come on, girl. You don't look like this. And there's a couple other Bravo celebrities, two people, one person in particular that I'm friends with that it's like, girl, but I'm not going to say anything to this friend of mine. And you know what's funny? And it's not Luann. Luann's pictures, holy shit, are not Photoshop, guys. I mean, that is Luann. She looks like a bit... The thing is, then when you're in pictures with these other Bravo celebrities you're friends with, I mean, I literally get screamed at if I post. So I have to send it to them first. And they send it back to me. Okay, you can post. And then I look at myself and I'm like, I don't want to post this. I don't look like this. I don't like a Photoshop picture. I mean, do you see how awful I look some days on social media or even on this podcast? I... Don't care. I promise you, like even here where I live in my condo in the Hamptons, when I go out some, to dinner, I go through the lobby and they're like, oh my God, you look so nice. I don't look so nice. This is how like a normal human being looks. 
the days that I just sit in and record, I wake up, I go to the gym and I just kind of hang out and do my job without showering. I know it's disgusting. I shower at the end of the day before I go out. Anyway, I don't Photoshop, but Gina Keo did that. And Kara, her daughter was like, take this down immediately. And she took it down and she posted the real one. Well, Gina Keo posted a something else recently, like a few days ago. And Kara has once again weighed in and said, this ain't it, sis. This Kara, she's really making me laugh. So it's funny, the first thing where she basically told her mother, take this down immediately. This is so embarrassing. And then Gina did. She put up the real picture. What was going through her mind when she posted a totally different picture with someone else? A few days later, it wasn't as bad Photoshop, but it was pretty close. It's, it's clearly not her. So Kara weighs in again and says, this ain't it, sis. Kind of really funny. Kara, you're making me laugh. So for everyone out there, all the Bravo celebrities that hate me because of all the bad things I say, the real things, Lindsay Hubbard and Kara, I said good things about you today. Uh, Jill, uh, uh, Jill, my fellow Sag Harbor, Sag Harbor neighbor, Jill Zarin has spoken out about Reza, saying she really doesn't understand her feud with Reza. And she doesn't understand why he came at her. And she, I feel... I don't know with Jill. I don't know if this was meant to be shade, but she said, you know, I understand he spent years watching me on TV and that's what happens. People have preconceived notions. They feel they know my dog. They feel they know my mom. They feel they know me. So I thought that was kind of great above hand, high level shade she was giving to Reza being like, he watched me for years on Housewives. I mean, he thinks he knows me, but she said, you know, when Reza broke the alliance with Dodie, you know, she wasn't thrilled with him. I don't blame you. There's no question. I mean, Jill is someone who uh, will text me when she wants to talk to me. And I actually like her. And Reza has, speaking of people who have blocked me, Reza has blocked me. So no question I'm team Jill on this one. Why has Reza blocked me? That's a thing. We always talk about that. You never know when, why you're blocked because you're not, there's no notice, right? So you're only blocked. You only find out in like a roundabout way. And then you have to be like, but when's it like, I'm probably blocked by like 20 times more people than I think from Bravo, but you never really know. And then you have to like trace it. I thought I figured out the reason why Reza blocks me. But now that I'm thinking of it, I can't really think of it. I mean, I had Ali Ashori on from like years ago, but I don't know why Reza would. I, I th The other day it came up and I had a reason, but I can't even remember what I did yesterday, but he blocked me, his loss. I don't give a shit. Um... Raquel Levis has spoken out. I mean, she is, this podcast is really, she's just, at some point, we're not going to want to hear her talk about, uh, Rachel Levis, excuse me. We're not going to want to hear her talk about Sandoval anymore, right? But she's wrote a very near and dear heartfelt letter to the court saying that she was isolated after her engagement with James Kennedy uh, was broken off. And uh, basically that, um, basically that, um, I just was looking at something. Why are people making dinner reservations for me? Uh, basically, um, that she was uh, drawn in by Tom and Tom used to refer to her as a business relationship with Ariana and saying that Tom wore her down. I mean, seems that she is a victim in this. I don't know. I, I like Rachel Levis. I like her. So... There you go, everyone. Just a quick hit. We got to go. Uh, I'll speak to Lou at some point. Love you all. I wish I had some. Do I have anything else? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We still have not talked about. We still have not talked about Andy and my theory about Andy about. I do think Bravo is backing him, but I have weird mixed feelings about this 15th anniversary. You guys, I have to make a note that we have to talk about this next time. I'm rambling. I love you all. Hopefully you enjoyed my interview part two.